with considering the sentence for a woman who killed her boyfriend. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mark Hayes. I'm Lisa Cooney. The jury worked late into the night and found Shana Huber's guilty of murder. This afternoon, they're considering how much time she should spend in prison. WLWT News 5's Brian Hamrick is live in Campbell County now covering the trial for you. Brian, good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. Well, the sentencing phase is underway after Shana Huber's was found guilty of murder. She faces 20 years to life in prison. Now, Shana Huber's was in court this morning. This is after a long night last night, convicted just before 11:30 last evening. So the sentencing phase begins. It's a lot like the trial beginning again. Uh, the jury will determine the sentence. They have a recommendation. Now, judges often follow the recommendations, but they don't have to. So what's happening right now? Ryan Poston's sister is on the stand as we speak. Both the prosecution and the defense have already completed their openings. Uh, other witnesses are being heard. They've heard from the parole to explain sentencing. Member of Ryan Poston's family. Uh, more of them are expected to talk about the impact all of this has had on them. Prosecutors describe what they expect. They will feel the pain of the loss of their brother. Son, grandson, nephew, for the rest of their lives, and that this loss is permanent. Now, if the jury comes back with a sentencing today, at least their recommendation, they'll turn that over to the judge. Now, most likely, the judge could go ahead and uh, give his sentence today. However, most likely, he'll take that under advisement and then have a uh, formal sentencing within the next few weeks. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5.